Are you guys just having a little snuggle? A little rendezvous over here? <laughs> Kuma, unrelenting stare. The eyes of a killer, Kuma. The eyes of a killer. We are on route. Well, we're at the airport to Japan. Are you excited? Why do you put the girl by you? Are you excited? Yeah, I'm excited. Okay, and are you excited? <laughs> yes. What is your biggest fear? <laughs> I don't like chains in the water. It seems kind of not really like that related to this trip. So it is 5 a.m.? No, not even. It's 5.04 a.m. We got in last night and we went to bed at 7 p.m. <laughs> Um, so we were up at like 2 a.m. this morning, and then we just decided to get ready, and now we're gonna go see this fish market, which is like the I'm biggest fish this. market in the world. Uh, You're wearing what? This jacket. I wasn't going to wear that. Do I look like you were. Do I look like I'm going on a jewel heist? Let's see. Second, second round on my jewel heist? Yes. It's freaking cold here. Way colder than I thought it was gonna be. <laughs> How cold did you think it was gonna be? Like last time. Good thing you got, uh those handy gloves in your stocking. Last time we came here, we were going on a hike and uh, I stopped in at like the 7-Eleven and I'm like, <laughs> you're gonna need some gloves. And she's like, no, I won't. And I'm like, okay. And then we take this friggin' train to this hike and as soon as we walk outside, she wants my gloves. And then I had to walk around with no gloves, freezing my hands off. After I told her like four times, you better buy some gloves. Do you know what this is? So then I got. Do you yeah, know what this is? I'm salty about it. The world's smallest violin. No, I'm salty. Playing a sad, I'm sad song for I'm you. I'm Salt Bay and I'm Problem Bay. <laughs> <laughs> okay, go ahead. <laughs> <laughs> okay, try it again. Do it again. <laughs> we, were, we, we were trying to film. <laughs> Me coming in the elevator because it's so cool in here. <laughs> this is all paper, but then it started closing on me. But anyways, now look at this majestic. I thought it was stone. No, it's paper. I it's know. all paper carving. It's really cool. So we couldn't find the tuna auction, but Matt did find this. This there was like different bottles, and this one had like lightning bolts coming from it and stuff and this is intense spicy on. <laughs> this one looked the most intense being that it has lightning bolts and this little devil figure with flame chili peppers coming out of his body intense spicy king let me try it actually right now yes okay oh yeah it's hot is it it's super hot or not bad it's getting worse <laughs> We just went and got snacks. I got party flavored Pringles and they taste like fried chicken. I also got Poifels. These delicious treats. These are the best candies ever, They're people. so good. They're like jelly beans, but not shitty because jelly beans are the worst. Yeah, the inside of it is like this gooey, delicious center. They're so good. So we didn't end up doing very much today. We went to this one museum that was not really a museum, but it was fine. And then uh, we went and ate lunch, came back to the hotel. Um, we had done a little bit of shopping earlier and then we basically just laid here and let jet lag consume us for four hours. And now Matt's friend Trevor's coming over and we're going to go get food. But Matt's dying. Trevor, what? what's the plan for today? Well, we're going to get some bananas. Okay. Banana shakes to be precise. Yeah. And then we're going to go hit up that museum. And on the way back, go we'll get all gimmicky with those game centers and owl cafes. What museum? What? What are you complaining about, Matt? I'm not complaining. I'm inquiring. What are you inquiring about? What museum? Tokyo National Museum. Oh, cool. Trevor thinks all the other ones suck. Tour Guide 2.0? Trevor is our local that is supposed to be quite a bit better than last year. 2.0? Yeah. You have to prove it. <laughs> there will be proving. 
All right, banana. starting with the banana milkshakes. So far, we're yes. taking you to where we've been. <laughs> <laughs> Tragedy strikes. Our place is closed. The first part of our plan was foiled. <laughs> Oh, uh, let's see we stuff online. <laughs> Where are you taking us now, Trevor? The Owl No Mori, which roughly directly translates into Roughly owl directly. <laughs> Whoa, it just turned its head to look at me. We realized yesterday that a vast majority of these shops and restaurants are closed, and they're going to be closed until like the 4th. Um, so we went to go get dinner last night just in the hotel because Matt wasn't feeling very good and then everything was closed and like our hotel is kind of connected to this mall area and every single shop and like restaurant in there was closed as well. Um, so we ended up picking up like cup of ramen noodles and we ordered in and now we've just been having a lazy day. We're not sure what we're gonna do today. It is so dead and so quiet. It's almost spooky. Creepy. I don't like it. it feels like the setting of like a horror movie or something like that. <laughs> because there's just nobody yeah. here. Like it reminds me of those zombie movies where like it's just completely dead and then yeah. like you hear a weird noise down this alley. Oh! Trevor's our resident translator. <laughs> Looking very dapper in your scarf. Thank you. Matt has a little cashmere scarf here. I bought a new jacket. Uh, oh, you can't really see it because it's kind of too dark, but this is this is my new Black jacket, it's nice and warm, because I only brought a super thin one. Don't try and steal my spotlight. What's the sitch? There's 20 groups waiting right now. Jesus. So however that long that takes. <laughs> we left it too late. Wow, this is like a really nice backdrop right now. We left this too late. It is New Year's Eve, and now we will starve. Oh, this is better lighting. Oh, you wanted to get in the film? There you go. Oh, yeah, sorry, let me pimp you out. Uh, this is Trevor. If you are a single lady in Japan, he is in desperate need of loving, <laughs> of loving compassion. Take me out of this film right now. <laughs> um, There's what? food at the sky bar thing? No. It's a bar. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> it's not gonna work. Is, it? is that lost in translation? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> She's also really smooth. <laughs> this is the man of your dreams, ladies. <laughs> Could you please adorn your top hat? Yeah. Good. Happy New Year. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just trying to ring in the new year in the right way. <laughs> what do you think? I'm just trying to find a hat that fits me. <laughs> that one looks great. Does it though? Yeah. Well, I'm just trying to ring in the new year in the right way. <laughs> so, last night was pretty relaxed. Uh, we basically were just sitting up. There was like a sky bar in our hotel. Um, so we basically just went up there and <laughs> they gave us heated blankets. And we were sitting there like with our like hands on our laps at midnight with heated blankets on and then it was kind of like it turned midnight and everyone was like oh, th three two one happy new year's anticlimactic as new year's always is it's also me and matt's one year anniversary we just are feeling pretty grateful <laughs> to be able to get to do stuff like this and be able to do it together and um for me like i I enjoy traveling, but I think it's not as fun when you're like not able to experience it with someone and share it with someone. Matt uh, also wrote me a card. Says you're so right for me. This is a rare occasion wherein Matt tells me that he cares for me. <laughs> but anyways, um, it's I mean all of Tokyo is basically shut down. Nobody's doing anything, so I think um, we found a breakfast place that's open. So I think we're gonna go grab breakfast, and then tonight is our last night here, and then we go on to Kyoto. Also, look at how clear my skin is. I mean, this is particularly good lighting, but my skin has cleared up so much. 
So I'm basically at the end of my antibiotics. Like I think I have like seven or eight pills left. Um, but I'm like astounded. I can't believe how well it worked. But now I'm like, what do I do? Take antibiotics for the rest of my life? An option. Oh wow, you're really good at this. Thank you. So can you explain to us, Trevor, how the fortunes work? Uh, you open it. Yep. You read it. Okay. And after you read it, you find out if you have a really good fortune or a really bad fortune. Yeah. If you get a bad fortune, you go tie it on that rope over there. Yeah. And the gods banish the bad fortune for you. Okay. Hopefully. So, so pretty much it's a good fortune either way. Huh. Can't lose. Win-win. Oh, baby. Wait, yes. yes. You got the best fortune. one. Excellent. Excellent. Business. It's high time to sell or buy. Oh, man. <laughs> oh, excellent too. Sweet. Your say? Business. Do not buy now or you'll lose. <laughs> okay. Okay, so it says God is always on your side. You're becoming happier and happier, but day by day you'll be able to realize any wish. But never be arrogant or you'll lose everything. Be honest and faithful and take care of yourself. I'm going to fucking read this every day. Keep that in mind. Now, travel. Do not try it now. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Business, no problem. You won't lose. Love, just enjoy it and everything will be well with you. Aww. Childbirth, easy birth. Baby will grow healthy. Good. Right, perfect. Illness, be, don't worry, be faithful. Marriage proposal, at first it won't work well, but it will be successful with the help, help of others at last. That's what we have to look forward to, man. Love, be faithful. Yeah, you better. <laughs> Marriage proposal, something wonderful will happen to you. Just wait. All right. It already has. <laughs> what does it say about childbirth? It's easy. Think yeah. It's easy. Think much of peace of mind. Yeah, it's easy for you. Yeah. <laughs> Can you read like... me what it says in there? Um, probably not actually, sorry. <laughs> okay, get back then. <laughs> so I got these talismans. This one is a victory one. I got that for myself. The one underneath is a good luck one. I got that for my mom. And then this one is a money one, which is for dad. Money, money, money. I like please protect our family. Uh, let's put it on this one. There's nothing there. So this tree is estimated to be over 600 years old. It's still got a healthy trunk. Amazing. It's a pretty tree. I actually feel the power of this tree. Did you know that Japan has one of the oldest trees in the world? I did not. In Yakushima in the south. Go on. It's amazing and old. Estimated How? to be between 2,000 and 7,000 years old. That's pretty old. Old in my books. Like, I don't know how like accurate I am, so. Okay. But like. So I'm sure someone will correct you. <laughs> these little origami things here. Yeah. In Hiroshima, there was this lady that was sick because actually, I think it's something like, if you if you continue folding these, it will like heal your sickness oh, or something like that. Oh, the paper like cranes. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, so, yeah. Like, I guess it like heals you if you just keep on folding these until you're better or something. So there's this lady in Hiroshima that like folded like 2,000 of these things or something. That was a cool little shrine we just stumbled upon. We basically we were trying to go to the Tokyo National Museum and we had called and asked if it was open and the guy was like, yeah, yeah, it's open. And then we came there and it was closed. So we just kind of were walking around the park across the street from it and we just stumbled into that little thing. These are the Japan has the spookiest ravens of all time. First of all, they're, the, the that's not last, a raven. The that's last a, strain of the dinosaur gene. They're <laughs> massive and they sound like fucking blah, Velociraptors. Satan. Velociraptor genome. <laughs> We just got into our room in Kyoto. Look at this majestic little forest we have over here. Matt is shitting on everything that I love in my life. 
This hotel's great. He came into this room and he like he looks at this, which is like the front entrance area, and he was like, Oh, I wonder if they can move us when they have a chance. And I'm like, when you're laying down, it's like this beautiful, majestic forest. This is the bath. They are the quintessential shower. Jacket. And my butt pants unbuttoned, and look at this. The best part about Japan. The future is now. I appreciate you. How many dogs we're gonna have? <laughs> we're at the childbirthing pagoda. Is this actually it? The childbirth one? This is the child. This is the easy childbirth pagoda. We've had a lot of uh, childbirth recommendations from Japan lately. Yeah, they're steering us in the childbirth direction. Clearly. So what has happened? I lost my contact lens, so now we have to go to an optometrist and get a prescription for contact lenses. And why didn't you bring in an extra set of contacts? Because... They're gonna ask! <laughs> <laughs> because! I just happened to not do it this time. Normally I do now. And I always, I brought my glasses at the very least. I'd like a point for that. These are the shoes she's wearing. This is her OOTD. Oh wait, I can't do sideways. OOTD. So Sam's getting her nails, or no wait, her eyebrows done at uh, this beauty place here. And I'm gonna go try to get a haircut. I have to kill an hour. So today we are, we had breakfast. And now we are going to the Kyoto National Museum. And then I think we're gonna try and do the bamboo fortis, forest. So today we are at the bamboo forest. We tried to get Thank here a little bit earlier open. so that we could hopefully beat some crowds. Is that a graveyard? Uh, oh, maybe. It is. Oh, well, they're huge headstones, eh? Weird. Oh, wow, look at that setting. Oh, I wish we could come up. Wow! That's where I want to be buried. I know, me too. This looks like it's for like royal people though or something. This is like super nice. <laughs> this is the most beautiful graveyard I've ever seen in my life. So this is like a little garden that's at the top of the bamboo forest. <sighs> Free green tea. This is where I want to live and die. Taking this as a sign from the gods. I'm not sure where it was really telling us to go. I think this was like a garden area. Oh, we get to walk in here. Oh, I'm so excited. Okay. Sure? Yeah, it says one way. And then <laughs> it says one way pointing all directions, yeah, but one yeah. of the directions is in here. Look at that house over there. Wow. Look, it's colorful. Look at this colorful little house in the woods. That's how isolated I want to live. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> That's a dream my, home. my house with eight million trees around me is perfect. <laughs> So we came into this place which serves us green tea and it's in the little garden place. It's really cool. And apparently this place was owned by this like movie star. He was like a silent film star, is that right? Correct. So this was like his private residence. <clears throat> he died at 18 or 1962. This is a pretty little pond. Look at these little koi fish. I love them so much, they remind me of Arrow. Matt <laughs> paid, no, I paid on my credit card a hundred dollars for Matt to get his freaking panties washed. <laughs> Where? They perfectly folded all of his laundry. And yours, here. there's one of yours. Okay, so there's one pair of my underwear in here. <laughs> look at Matt's sweater, he's self-conscious about it. I just bought it. Does it look, I got it from Gucci, can you tell? That's a lie. This is Gucci. He got it for ten dollars at Gucci. <laughs> oh, it was from... 
Ills confirm flourish. I think you could look at this and be like, damn, that's from Gucci. No, babe. If I carry myself right. No. I can make any sweater look like it's from Gucci. No. I've seen a, like a tiger or something on the front. Maybe this is from Armani Exchange. You look great. Is this from Armani Exchange? No. <laughs> I, I'm still conscious in the sweater. Why? You look great. Show my shoes at least. Out. Women's Nikes. <laughs> no, they're not. These are actual men's. I want that on the record. And they give them a little bit of extra uh, height. I need, that, I need those CMs. <laughs> I need those CMs. There she is. So we learned that this was rebuilt twice, I think. It was burnt down, I think twice, yeah. And then they rebuilt parts of it. Um, and it used to be a retirement home <laughs> for one of the old shoguns. So I was reading on this blog that said basically like all three floors are different styles of like Japanese architecture and they're all built kind of like a little bit different and like the top one you can see is like quite a bit more intricate in comparison to these two. And it's gold leaf by the way, that's actual gold leaf that's like covered on it. And there's little ducks over there, which is nice. We're going to the monkey park to meet this guy. They only have two moods, much like myself. Oh my god, this is magical. Animal Kingdom. Oh my gosh, you're beautiful. You're beautiful, Angel, I love you so much. Oh my gosh, he's just living his best life. Look at his little bum. Oh my gosh. Oh, I love you. They eat like humans. They are humans. Oh my gosh. This guy loves me like I love him. He came up right beside me, he wants to be best friends. <laughs> There you go. Oh my gosh, this is the best thing that's ever happened to me. <laughs> but he peels it. Oh, really? Okay, give him one more so I can see. Oh my god. See? That is the coolest thing I've ever seen in my life. They're so smart, hey? Yeah, like, let's see if he peels that one. This is hilarious. Wow, they're brilliant. You're the smartest thing I've ever met in my life. I got a pretty good view. I'm trying to take a video of this little baby and her mom Come on, snuggling. Come on. This moment healed me. Why don't you pick the bugs out of my hair? Oh, there's only one. There was a bug in my hair? No, it was on your hood. Oh my god. Oh my gosh. They just love each other. Excuse you. Look at this guy just ruining the moment. Checking for lice before she goes to school. This is how we should be viewing animals. We're in the cages, not the other way yeah. around. Like when we go to all these other places, it's depressing. But mm -hmm. when you come here, it's like refreshing. Cause yeah. they let them run around and then you feed them through the cages, which is a waste. Well, and they just, and they have like their own little area that's kind of like roped off where you're not supposed to go up. And like they, I mean, they just live on them. They just live here. <laughs> and you're not supposed to touch them. Like we went to that owl cafe and the kid was like harassing this owl. It was yeah. hard to watch. So this was actually really, like, really refreshing. Oh my god, I love you so much. Oh. Oh my god, there's two. Oh my gosh. Oh. Thank you for blessing me. He just pooped right beside me. I don't know if you can hear this, but these people are half naked in this very, very cold river. D doing what? We do not know. These guys are everywhere. So these same statues are outside of a ton of different shrines and they were also in the museum but we weren't able to film in there. Guardians. But they're, yeah, they're guardians of these shrines. They're really cool. There's so many places in Japan that were like ruined. And so this place too, it was saying, let me see. So this place has more than 1200 um, statues in there. It's like a Buddhist temple. And then it also was destroyed by a flooding, rebuilt, destroyed again during a civil war, moved and then <laughs> suffered typhoon damage. So all these little statues were added in the 80s. I think 1981 it said. When they moved in the 80s? Well, I think it was moved a little bit before that, but then when they were like refurbishing it and stuff like that, it said that they added all these little statues in. These guys are cool. Oh, she has a, lo a lovely pearl necklace. So many of these little guys. This is so cool. That is so cool, those little sculptures. What a neat temple. This is my kind of park job. So this is a little shop that we just came to. And so you walk through these doors, you come back in here and they have like this little back area 
with all this handmade pottery and stuff. It's really cool. And also they gave us welcome tea. Yeah, great tea. Great <laughs> to show up here. This place is amazing. Oh, I like this drawer. I paid good money for that back home. We're back for more gyozas. And then we're going back home. We're very tired. Today was a very long, busy day. And um, tomorrow we go to Osaka. So we just did all the stuff that we did today and then we came back to the hotel and went in the hot tub. And now we're probably just gonna go to bed and uh, have my last breakfast buffet in Kyoto. <laughs> it's my favorite breakfast buffet in the world. Quite the view we have in Osaka. We're uh, blowing this popsicle stand. We've been in here for one day and uh, we don't like it. So we're going back to Kyoto. We got a. It's not that we don't like it, it's just that we're over cities right now. We're really enjoying our. Yeah, life. no diss to Osaka. I'm sure it's amazing, but. When we went from Tokyo to Kyoto, we went from a big city to like a smaller town, it was nice. So we're headed to another little shrine here. <laughs> Look who's back. It's that Trevor. <laughs> so these are all graves all the way along. Oh wow, this is crazy. Does it say anything about not filming, Trevor? What? Does it say anything about not filming? Uh, no, it says go for it. Okay. Wow, this is so neat. Here's the pricing if you want to, if you want one of these. So it's seventy thousand. There, yeah, in dollars. Seventeen fifty. So, what are your thoughts so far? Really cold. It's really pretty up here, though. On a scale of 1 to 10. How cold am I? Yeah. 12.